Hi, today I'm going to talk about one way I teach graphing to my students. So um, when I talk about graphing objects, um, I talk to my kids about collecting data because we're usually, that's what we say, we collect some data, we have all this information now, for example, all these presents that are on the table, and I want to know which one I have the most of, which one I have the least of, maybe which two are the same or equal. So in order to do that, we need to organize it in a way that everybody can understand it. So first skill they need to have before they graph is sorting. So they understand that they may have sorted their presents into small, medium, and large sizes. So these are sorted. And then they're going to organize their information in a way that everybody can understand. So two things you can use. You can have a grid to help them when they're placing their objects so that they place them equally and that they start at a certain place altogether. Or you can just have a line on a piece of paper like this and they can build up from the bottom. So what I would do is I, we would talk about this and usually a student will say, well, you line them up because that's the most basic skill. So we would talk about lining up our, all of our um, presents and they would line them up and I'd say, okay, so we've lined them all up. Here it is. Now, if you're trying to provoke some conversation, you might say this. Well, now looking at it, I would say that I, the most I have are, the largest number is my large, right? My large presence. And they'll say, no, 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 because these are all squished together. That's usually what they say. And I'll say, well, that's what it looks like to me because this is longer. And so you're, again, kind of promoting some discussions about what they see and how they can make this uh, more understandable for other people. So they might say, no, you have to line them up the same. That's usually what they're going to say. And they'll start to line them up. So if I'll put this one here and this one goes next to it and then the small one here and then I'm going to put the large one here in this medium and then the small one here. See how they're lined up. That's what they're going to be explaining to you. And so they'll go ahead and do this. See, now you don't need any paper to do this activity as long as at least one of the kids mentions that they need to be spaced accordingly so that you can take a, a measurable count really. So they can do, you can do it this way or you can say well now that we did it we lined it up here and we sorted our data and we kind of graphed it I'm going to show you on this um, grid. So then you would have the kids place it on a grid. They can each get a set of whatever kind of manipulative you use. And then they would just kind of line up their objects into their grid. And then I also explained that one object per square on the grid, okay? You can't double up. And so what they would do is they would line up their objects according to how they were sorted. And then they would say, well, I have the most on my graph is medium. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I would ask for understanding how do you know? They're going to say, I know because I counted and it's taller. And I might ask, well, which one has the least? And they may say, well, the small and the large are the same and they're still less than the medium. So this can um, uh, involve a lot of discussion and it's really great to have them explain it to you in a complete sentence. And um, it's a really fun activity for the kids. And again, you can graph anything you want. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.